Hi officials, today is the 14th of March. Apparently yesterday, um, they announced that we have one confirmed case of coronavirus. Um, the person was a uh, some what from the you from where a yeah. British national. So apparently, Saint Lucians went crazy. They bought out the whole supermarket. So I've heard um, toilet paper for some reason. I don't know why, but toilet paper gone. Um, so I just at my sister store right now, trying to see what I could get. I'm not coming to panic shop or anything like that, just to make sure I have something to survive um, before they buy everything out, basically. So we're going into the supermarket right now, and I'll take you guys along, hopefully. So the whole toilet paper thing was over exaggerated because there's the toilet paper I have right in the back of me. There's toilet paper. The only thing is the lines are really long. Really, really long. So We just left the supermarket. There was a lot of people there, um, but the lines wasn't moving as slow as I thought it would be moving because of the sizes of those um, baskets. I'll into the big somewhere, here. maybe. But it wasn't that bad, and it wasn't as bad as people make it look like. Oh, this is so loud. This shelves are empty, and probably I don't know. Probably they um, restocked yesterday or last night or something like that I don't know but it wasn't as bad as they make it sound and uh, yeah I have a voice to play for you all but I'll play it in a while someone like CPJ almost never has um, vehicles parked up outside like that and that's massive I know, I just touched it. So it's the same day and we just came to buy some pork and have a drink. I think we've been here in a video before that was like for vlogmas but I'm very to hear voice notes and I think I mentioned it in the last clip so I'm just going to play it so that you could hear what's up Okay, hopefully you could hear what the voice note said. If not, I'll probably just insert it somewhere around so you could hear. But I kind of believe what she said. And I've been saying that for a while because of what I saw on Independence Day. It was at the end of my Independence Day vlog. Um, it's like they're trying to cover up a lot of stuff. So right now, it's like we're not even sure. Yeah, right now if it's one case or if it's more honestly we just don't know what's going on and people are literally going mad supermarkets are packed places are empty because we came here and there was like normally there's a lot of people here and stuff like that but i don't know i really do not know what's going on people are going crazy and 
Yeah. It's like we've never been through anything like this here. These things never get to the Caribbean, never get to Saint Lucia. So. Let me know what you think of the voice notes. Let me hear your views. I'm actually interested in hearing your views on what this person has to say. I'm not saying it's true, I'm not saying it's not, but I'm saying that I she probably knows what she's saying. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And yeah, we just hear chilling, having a drink. Tyler went to get some more drinks. Um, we came for black pudding, but it was done by the time we got here, but we did get pork, and I'm here. If you know me, you know. You know what's up. That's like my favorite drink, the local bear of St. Lucia. Yeah, yesterday was actually Tyler's birthday. He didn't do anything because he was at work yesterday, so just out here, out in the streets today. Thank you. Tyler, say hello to my people. Hello to my people. That's not your people, that's my people. Okay? Take all of them. Put them in a bag. Hide them from Corona. I already have them in a bag and God already protecting them from Corona. Okay? So yeah, that's what's up, eh? Tyler, imagine Tyler drinking malt. Like drinking keto. Who's the man here? But who have the balls? It's a really nice. How did you go? Go start it there. Let's bend it. Go start it there. And make it. I go buy two guineas and I drink in both. Huh? Have a good life. Okay? You don't know about this life. You see this life? It has a best life. It's a solution life. Peter Malt. Peter. I put a little Peter in your mouth. It's the next day. So while editing, I noticed that the voice note wasn't that clear um, while I was recording it. So I'm going to play it again so that you could hear. The government say one that is not true. There is 19 points of case. Imagine I see from the time the people in the media call me, I have a headache. They have 19 confirmed cases and they're still looking for the rest of the people that um, was in the elevator with the lady at Harbour Club and the people that was on the plane. The government waiting for it to be 30% for them to lock down the country. So by next week or in three weeks time, they're going to be locking down the country, pal. So what you, when you see the news giving, they false news you that government hour. So just be careful. Okay, that was the first voice note, and after my last clip I recorded yesterday, um, we now have two confirmed cases here in St. Lucia, and this is the next voice note I'd like you all to hear, right? Starfish has 25 individuals who are currently on quarantine. They have been locked into their rooms and asked not to leave the room under no circumstance. Also, all the FMB staff, the friendless team have been sent home. They also fired one young lady from Starfish for leaking information concerning the coronavirus. That is my latest for now. All right, so that led me to um, believe that all these assumptions and the first voice note is true. There are probably more cases in St. Lucia because at first they never said what hotel the whoever that had corona was at. I felt like they were trying to cover it up. Now I guess since somebody said where it was, they let out information about it they fired her 
like what <laughs> I just don't understand something as serious as that virus I don't feel like anybody should be covering it up I don't feel like they should be keeping anything from the public because at the end of the day if we know how serious it is here I feel, I feel like people would be more cautious and they would take more precautions that's just how I feel about it I don't know like what what is there to hide anyway that's the information I have and as of right now we have two confirmed cases in St. Lucia I feel like it's more I feel like there is more stuff being covered up but I don't know that's just how I feel let me know what you think in the comment section and I will leave a Bible verse with you um, because there's so much going on in this world right now um, so much going on and I feel like the main focus is on coronavirus and it's like like everything else is like pushed behind and all people concern about is the coronavirus and we forget the Bible so I'm going to show you all the script I'm going to put up the scripture with somewhere here so that you could see and I'm going to read it second Corinthians Whenever I hold back the rain and send the lotus to eat up the crops or send an epidemic on my people, if they pray to me and repent and turn away from the evil from the evil they have been doing, then I shall hear them in heaven, forgive their sins and make their land prosperous again. Right now there is a lotus I don't know if you say locust or lotus locust plague going on in Africa right now and it's eating up everything nobody's talking about it everybody's focused on the coronavirus COVID-19 and it is written here right here it is written right here but we forget about all of these things right like we don't pay any attention to these things all we're paying attention to is just panicking going and buy toilet paper <laughs> for whatever reason and yeah so i think that was it for my video i'm going to end the video here edit it and upload it today today is sunday the 15th of march and i'm going to upload this video tonight so that was it for my video. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Let me know where you're from in this world and what's going on with the coronavirus in your neck of the woods. And what you're doing to protect yourself, what you're doing to prepare. And yeah, your overall view on the whole situation. That was it for my video guys. Bye!